Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, I have more stuff to show you. I can't get over how fast everything's growing in this beautiful uh, weather that we've had. It's, it's a little bit rainy, a little bit cloudy today, but we've had, you know, sun showers and stuff and a little bit of rain and it's doing fantastic for my plants. And I'm going to show you some. And I'm going to show you how many, um, how do I say, uh, volunteers I've got too. Check this out. Okay, so I started pulling out my radishes. I've got to get all those seed pods off of there. Lip, I'm going to put them in a big bowl in the house and let them dry out because it's very, very wet here. And I'm hoping that they don't spoil. But that being said, that's all got to come out. And I'm going to put these beautiful four tomatoes in that spot. I'll take that leaf off of there because something is on it. Anyways, um, they look gorgeous, don't they? Yes. Um, all of these plants that I planted look fantastic i still have to put that one in the ground and i've got some uh okra that i need to plant there i don't know where i'm going to plant them though so i've got to get busy and i'll show you what i've done when i get it done so check this out i found this little guy this is uh some sort of little squash plant <laughs> growing up here in the walkway well it's not the walkway because I got that planter there but if that planter wasn't there it would get messed up and it still may get messed up because of the uh, dogs but I get—I don't know if it's squash or watermelon I mean not watermelon uh, pumpkin or what but check it out I'm gonna let it grow and these are all the Roselle volunteers I've been telling y'all about. Yes, they've got lots of uh, weeds in here too that I have to weed out. But I'm going to harvest those Roselles and put them in uh, different spots of the yard and probably pot up some and see if I can get them to grow. Maybe I might be able to sell them. No. That is the one last Roselle that I had, and it has branched out a little bit, but it doesn't look that great. And I'll probably do better off pulling that up, but check it out, another squash. <laughs> Y'all see all the eggs and stuff I put out in here, eggshells. And just craziness. I got all those, you can see I pulled those out. I'm getting rid of all this in here and putting it in ground. This whole area back through here, when I get it cleared out, will be an in ground uh, uh, bed. And um, I'm hoping to move these beautiful bees over here to the uh, to the bee yard garden. And hopefully, I won't have any trouble with them. I don't know why they're standing on guard like that. But they'll be alright. I'm going to go in them. And I'm hoping that David can come up and move these with me uh, tonight. Because it'll be cool enough. I think they'll all be inside tonight. So... And I've got really good bees. They're really, really, really gentle bees. So I'm not having a problem with getting in the garden with them until I move everything. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, I haven't figured it all out yet, but I'm going to work on it right now. So, yep, everywhere, look, the Roselles. They're all over the place. Even out here. <laughs> Everything's looking great in there. 
still haven't harvested any blackberries, but hopefully I will be soon. And I don't know what these volunteers are that came up in this uh, planter. This is my um, plum. The peaches are getting larger and they're starting to change colors a little bit. So blueberries are doing good. They're starting to get a little bit of color on them. The few that's there and there's more over here one here and then one right there and they're looking really good so now the seedlings like i said it just rained i already dumped this out once today i gotta do it again these seedlings are getting grounded so i have to cons constantly drain out the water out of them. And I'm going to move them to their forever home soon. I hate to do that because you know that water is taking away some of the uh, that one's probably going to bite the dust. That water's taking away some of the nutrients by getting drained off. So, anyways, and I made a mistake. I should have put this the other way around. I'm going to use the lid next time. Nothing's popped out of these guys. And there's a gnat on it, so I don't like to see that. But, anyways, those are doing well. So, this massive tomato plant is... A volunteer and for some reason I haven't seen any tomatoes on it yet up oh, my lie there's tomato there I'm hoping that it's not a yellow one but I, you know it is <laughs> that's what easiest comes this is the volunteer that I've been eating off of Check out how beautiful that is. Beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. Mmm. And tastes wonderful, too. Now, I will say, now I just did have a miracle fruit, too. <laughs> so that makes them even more, um, how you say, Make some more, um, apt to taste sweet, sweet, sweet. But, see, this is birds. Bird damage. These are all bird damage. Nothing on that one. Anyways, give them to the chickens, right? I sure wish I'd get some figs. I don't know why that fig tree ain't giving me figs. So, now this one, I'm waiting to find out if it's in different variety because it's shaped a little bit different. Look at all that. That bothers me. Something already on it. So that's one plant over there, a volunteer. And this one is another one. <sighs> there's one. And there's one. There's like three plants here. So, I may dig this one up, but see the, see the white, I think it's called white fly. Eggs. That bothers me. 
And anywhere I move that, it's going to move them. So it might just be better to leave it there and let nature take its course there so it doesn't get into my garden over there. Now, um, I need to harvest some of this asparagus that's coming up. And I need to move this. I just need to get after it and get it moved. Um, this grapevine is starting to look better this year. But check this one out. Look how beautiful it looks. It really is coming back nicely. And, ha ha ha, I see my first grapes right there. So, I am going to hang some, there's lots of grapes on here. So right there. And I'm gonna have to hang something or else. You know what's gonna happen. The birds will have them all before I can get them. There's lots and lots of grapes on them. I can't wait. I'm very excited to have grapes growing. And I could even, uh, oh, and there's some more right there. Hard to get them in the picture. But yeah, I'm gonna have lots of grapes growing this year. <laughs> so, <laughs> fodder. These beautiful radishes are fodder. And then they'll become manure. And uh, that manure will become fertilizer for the garden to plant more. Full cycle. And these guys seem to be liking it. They like radishes, gotta say. We'll have this devoured in no time. May take them a little bit longer with the roots. It did last time, took them a small few hours before they got the roots done, but they will eat the whole thing. Okay, so this one's crazy full of beautiful, beautiful seed pods. That's what it looks like at the end. So I'm going to break these seed pods off and put them with the other ones that I've harvested here. And then I'll take it over to the to the uh, rabbits for the rest of it. Let's try this again. These are my four turkey purples that I just planted. Got the, what little bits left in that uh, pine shavings. And it uncovered, pulling all that out, uncovered. I have got some peppers growing, yep. So, I've got one there, I've got one here on this little bitty one. You can see it right there in the middle of that. I've got plenty of uh, blooms and lots of little baby peppers. So, I haven't got any tomatoes yet. I'm always looking for weird stuff because you know how it is. Once once they hit your pep or your tomatoes, they're gone. This uh this uh, basil is growing pretty good. I'm gonna top that today so it'll bush out a little bit more. And that looks broken, but I think I can use it anyways. Yep. Nope, it's not broken. I can fix that. So, 
I'm gonna pull that in and hook that up. So there you have it, I got it hooked up. They're doing really, really good. I hope I hope I get some some uh, peppers off of them. That one little teeny tiny uh, squash is growing. It hasn't bloomed out yet, so I'm hoping that it'll bloom out quickly and uh, give me a good fruit. These guys over here, no fruit yet, but I see one over here that's going to fruit out. Oops, I'm stepping on them, on their leaves. There's another little fruit there. That's not, that's got to bloom out. Anyways, hoping to see some good stuff going on here. Got some uh, zucchini blooming over there. And this one, not much of nothing. So, <clears throat> got to get this water dumped. But I'm not going to do that today. Because I'm working out here. I need to pull all these out. Now. If that's the wind messing with the door. I got some. I don't know what that bug was. But it was all over my squash what I go. Got some good cucumbers coming on. I'll be so excited to have those. Um, this pepper is kind of getting shaded out, but it won't be for long. Try to see. There's a pepper there. Uh, it looks like these pukes didn't do anything. I wonder why that happened. Oh well. It's got plenty of time to grow if it doesn't get messed up by anything. You know, the bugs are bad here in Florida. <laughs> and still only one little teeny tiny little <sighs> uh What do you call that? Peanut. So I'm going to pull these up and these boards and I'm going to plant my okra over here. Well, maybe not. I mean, maybe I better think about this. This might be where I end up putting my, my bees. I think I might put the bees right here at an angle and if I put them, set them right here, and on on that right there, I think that'll be perfect. That way, at an angle, uh, they can forage and go out and see all this beautiful stuff that I'm planting for them. <laughs> but I still don't know what I'm going to do where I'm going to plant the okra. <laughs> um... I planted a few potatoes in here, and I need to put more dirt in once those pop up. I don't know if this is going to make it. Um, looks like I got some new growth there. We'll see. That's the one that I splitted, split the chamomile that I split up. But check this out. Y'all know um, I have comfrey growing in here. And I pulled all that comfrey leaves off of these guys, and look what happened. So, it's coming back. I planted the, uh, the little peppermint in here because, you know, it did so good here last year. Now, that over there is the other um, chamomile. It don't look so hot. And here comes a bee. She was on that flower right there. 
And now she's looking around here to see what she can find. Hope she's happy in here. I hope they'll I hope they'll be glad to be moved. Now hmm. as for videoing in here. Now see that one looks whoops. That one looks pretty good back there. This looks really good. This is the garden sage. And that's one of the uh, century clocks that I uh, got from Home Depot. Everything's looking really, really nice. So, still gonna get more, more uh, dirt for in here so I can plant some more stuff up front here. But, ooh. I'm probably not going to separate this one. It looks like it's not down deep enough. Let me fix that. Look here. It's already starting to grow in. I'll probably goop that up. It's already starting to grow in, so I know that'll make it, hopefully. Um, so, now my hands are all dirty. <laughs> they're, they're really looking good. Uh, I'm going to move this plant over to here because this is where I'm going to plant this. And uh, for right now, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, like I said, I've got more to plant in that one. I've got to plant those out down there. And um, this one right here, I've got more plant planting to do in here. I've got to plant this right here right now so that it'll get good and watered in. Uh, Y'all see how beautifully wet this ground is. Uh, hang on, let me, I need both hands. So, I didn't get to show you this, but the good roots were coming out the bottom of this. So I think that will make it good here. And that's cilantro. I never know the difference between cilantro and culantro. Uh, what was the other one I got? Culantro? I got Coulantro somewhere too. Anyways, this is lemon basil. Or no, lemon mint. Lemon balm. Oh, I'll get it right one of these days. But, yeah, see, I've got to get these in the ground. Already, the plants are coming through the bottom. And I need to take care of that issue so that they don't get all messed up whenever I plant them. So I gotta figure out where am I gonna put them? <laughs> if I plant the bees right there, I could put them behind there, but then I'm gonna have problems harvesting them. I could put them. Hmm. I could clean that out and put them down there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll get David's advice with that. Although I'm the gardener. He's just a, he just plants things where I want him to. I want you to look how beautiful this plant is. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. I wish I had this in a in the ground somewhere or in a bigger pot cuz it is going to be a beautiful beautiful plant and this is the chili de arbro arbol and I gotta dump this water out because I don't want it standing in water all the time 
Now, the good thing about putting it in a pot like this is that um, if it gets a little bit of water, it'll be good for it. I think maybe I might up pot it and keep it in this because it's really looking nice in there. And that way, it'll be all right. And there comes another baby. Yep, they're all, my girls are all loving this out here. Seeing her do her business. Now that's the wild Biden that she's uh, harvesting right now. <laughs> I love watching them. And see, they don't bother me. They don't bother me at all. She just out doing her business. Flying around from flower to flower. Enjoying the harvest that the Lord give us. <laughs> Anyways. Ugh. And we're in between showers right now. Oh, I'm dizzy. So, when I get down on the ground like that, and I stand back up, it's, it's really hard on me, guys. I don't know why it is so hard. But I feel right now like I'm going to pass out. My legs are, are uh, like rubber underneath me. And then once I get my breathing under control and everything's back to normal again it all works out I don't get it I don't understand it but I can go on and be fine so I've got a lot of work to do in here I really wanted to move the bees today because it'll be cooler later on and I know they'll be up in the ha in the box for the night that's that's the best time to move them is when you can get them closed up move them the next morning into place put something in in their way so that they can um, uh, so they can uh enjoy it I gotta close this up. I don't want nothing getting in there and aggravating my babies. Oh, goodness gracious. So, I have to say, oh, the other thing I didn't say on my video was, I don't know if my daughter's going to come up today or tomorrow, but... She's going to come up and get the kids, two of the bunny rabbits, and take them home. And uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully that'll go good. So, we shall see. I need to dump off this water off the top of these chickens. Water. See, check this out. I can't have that standing like that because these girls get up here and poop on it. So I'm going to have to fill that up again soon. You can see that's all poop. And normally I wash that off, but I don't want to bring the water hose out here right now because, see, they're dry and they're up here. They're doing really good. And I'll be putting some more hay down for them. Um, but they're doing really good staying dry underneath here. But out here, it's wet. And it's a good wet. So, but you can see where that possum was trying to get in here and they got wires they couldn't get through to. But, uh, she also, it, no, it was a boy. Um, it was also trying to get over here, right here, so, and I've got to move these guys, put down some more mulch, and then move them back, because that's where I want them for now. He's been eating 
the radishes and enjoying it. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, no matter where I move these guys to, they're going to have lots of... So, <laughs> they're all happy. They've been chowing down over there. I gave them the most of everything. I did give the male some radishes. I did give the chickens, baby chicks, some radishes. And I gave the chickens some. But they've been chowing down. That was a good, good helping of... Uh, veggies for my babies so before I get off of here I want to show you all this beautiful fruit that I got coming in here on this jabodacaba I harvested some the other day and gave it to my neighbor her sister was in and some of it unfortunately didn't make it because the uh, stinking um, birds have been after it but check this out this miracle fruit is totally full that's what I'm saying one day you see they're green like this right here and the next minute you turn around and they go to this phase right there and then they go to that phase and then they're totally red like this up here <laughs> Isn't that crazy and they are so stinking good they really are now there is something that have found them and I have to watch because some of them will have like see this one squishy there's 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 bugs in there so but this one yeah it's got something on the outside but I don't know if it'll have it on the inside. But anyways, I have to watch them when I eat them now. Make sure that they're good. But I sure do love them. The bees are even over here. And this beauty has got... This is my sugar apple. And it has got blooms all over it everywhere you can see the brooms that side over there is full I showed that back a few weeks ago uh, I have noticed that some of the blooms are starting to dry off I don't know whether that'll actually make a fruit or not but check out all these little blooms here that's where I cut this limb off <laughs> Anyways, I should have lots and lots and lots of sugar apples this year. See all the beautiful blooms? They are nice. And I love my sugar apples. I am going to top this tree this year because I just think it's going to be too tall for me to get if I keep letting it grow taller. So... I showed you a lot of the little, um, uh, what do you call them? Volunteers. This is a, a volunteer of a sweet potato volunteer wow. that I need to harvest, to harvest the leaves off of and make some tincture out of. So, and more bee activity. They're everywhere. And like I said, I don't have any problem with them. My my uh, angel trumpets are in bloom right now. The the pretty pink one. So they're all over them too. I don't have problems with the bees at all. So and I want to keep it that way, and I want them to be happy. So that's why I'm moving them over there so that they can do their thing. Okay, I've gone on long enough. I could keep on showing you everything that I got and just talk forever about my garden because I love, love, love my garden. I'll show you my bananas on the way out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friend, and I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.